Okay, in this clip I'm going to show you how to make color 3D photos using Zara Extreme Pro. Now these 3D images you would need to wear the red and blue 3D glasses to view them. So the first thing you do is you need to take two images with your digital camera. One image for the left eye and another for the right. And when you're taking a picture of something up close or even in macro mode you don't need to move the camera too much between uh, the left and right compared to like if the subject's further away you can move it like both the distance between one eye and the other but when you're when you're closer you don't need to move it that much and you can experiment and see which turns out the best but. so right now I'm just going to position these in the middle of the page and move this to the back. This is this is our left eye, and that's our right eye image. And you can remember the right eye will be turning red, so right and red. You remember that. The left eye will do that first. Change the colors. So we have that selected, and then uh, utilities. Open up the Zara picture editor. Now in Zara Extreme Pro, it has levels options here. But for some reason during this recording, when I open uh, the levels control box, it doesn't record it. Like I can see it right now, but it's not recording it. And there's a drop down, see? But you can't see all the other controls. So to make things a bit easier, just for this recording, I captured an image of what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. This is not this is what's not being recorded. So do this again. I have this image selected, our left eye. Go to the utilities, open the picture editor, and then open up the levels control. Now, Cesar Extreme Pro has these levels options. Zara Extreme doesn't have that, so. Now, this is our left eye image. In the drop down menu, I'm going to select green, the green channel. And then this black arrow here, just click and drag it and move it all the way to the end. you can see it the image changes now the arrow for me the arrow actually moved but see you're just looking at a captured image but you know what I mean and now still on the same image select blue the blue channel do the same thing select this arrow click it and drag all the way to the very end you can see the image changes to like a cyan. So we accept that. Now that closes. This would close too, but now I'm going to select that. Well, if you have 3D glasses now, if you put them on, if you shut your left eye, and you just look through your right eye filter, you see like nothing. It looks like a white screen. And you close your right eye and look through the left eye, you can see the image. So that's how the left eye will only see this one image. So we gotta make the get the right eye image ready. So I'm gonna move this to the back, the one that we just did. Now this is our right eye image. And I'm going to open up the picture editor again and open the levels controls. Now this box here opens up. Right eye, red. Red for right. So you select the red channel and again select this black arrow and click and drag, move it all the way to the right. 
and you can see the changes that are made. And that's it for that. Except, don't need this no more. Now you can see the changes it made. Now this, if we do the same thing, look through the 3D glasses, do the opposite, close our right eye, through the left eye we see nothing, close our left eye, and the right eye sees an image. But we need to see them both at the same time, so have this one selected, the one we just did, our right eye image. Select the transparency tool. Select the stained glass. So now we can see through it. We can see both. But we need to uh, line them up a bit better. And I'm going to use this leaf here and line it up with the two images. So they overlap exactly. Or as close as I can get it. Okay. Now this leaf, because it's lined up, will look like it's right at the monitor. Like it would be like at the glass or in, the, in depth. And everything uh, in front of it will look like it's coming out towards you and everything beyond, behind it will look like it's going into the distance but this leaf when we line it up will look like it's right at right at the screen level so if we did the same thing if we lined up this leaf instead it would look this leaf will look like it's at screen level and everything will be behind or if we lined up this leaf that will be like screen level and then all this will be seem even closer but you can like uh, experiment and see which one looks the best right now this looks alright but I'm gonna crop off this area just the viewing area And so you can see you don't need uh, this stuff here. So I'm going to move this box I just made right to the very back. Control B. Select everything. Control A. And press Q for the clip view. So now it looks a bit cleaner. And that's pretty much it. Turned out alright. It's in 3D color. Yeah, easy to do. But you need a Extreme Pro for those levels. Zara Extreme doesn't have the levels, but you can make black and white 3D photos and to me they're just as good and sometimes even better. Because some colors turn out funny with the red and blue filter. But then when it's black and white you don't have that problem. So well, there you go. Easy to do. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.